Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I'll be doing your money, wealth, prosperity, finance, abundance reading for the month of December 2019. I hope you are having or that you had a good month of November. I know the retrograde has got so many of us, myself included, uh, feeling a little scattered, a little disconnected. But I do want to let you know that things are going to calm down and things will, things will start falling back into place. Um, if, not, if not now, then very, very soon. I'm already starting to feel the shift and I hope you are too. Now I am using a brand new deck. This is the Holographic Tarot. I'll be clarifying with my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck as I always do. And then Gemini, I will end your reading with a Crystal Oracle card. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome and thank you for joining me today. Uh, what you will notice is that I do read jumper cards. Sometimes when I'm shuffling or, you know, uh, pulling cards, you will see sometimes a card will flip over or sometimes a card will literally jump out of the deck. And those are the cards that I do choose to read. Um, I believe that those are the cards that have specific messages that need to be communicated. And so I do acknowledge that, and I do read those cards. All right. So what do we need to know for the sign of Gemini as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of December 2019. Well, Gemini, you've definitely got money on your mind. Money and work. All right, what else do we need to know? For the sign of Gemini. <clears throat> As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of December 2019. I feel like I do need one more card for you. Gemini. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, these cards do have a little bit of a rainbow type glare because they are holographic. But I think that kind of adds a little bit of an interesting dimension. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get right into it, Gemini. Like I said, clearly, as we move into December, I can see that money and work are definitely on your mind. That's the focus of your thoughts. That's the focus of your uh, energy, your actions. And you know what? That's actually a good thing for you. Gemini, you have kind of... You've kind of had some things that got started, but for whatever reason, they never, you know, continued. Either you had to stop for whatever reason, or things started, and, and because of circumstances or conditions beyond your control, they just never continued. And at the time, that seemed really frustrating, and it seemed really unfair and wrong, in a sense, 
but in a way it actually set you up for a greater success. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Cups upright, Two of Pentacles upright. We also have the Eight of Pentacles upright, Knight of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Wands also upright. This tells me that you didn't know it at the time, but the way that things kind of fell apart in the past actually really allowed things to come together for you right now. You know, maybe um, because of a certain project that didn't start, it allowed you to be free and uninvolved with something now. And so now you're available for a better opportunity. And that's what I'm seeing here with this Nine of Cups in the upright position. Again, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse tells me that something started and it never completed. We also have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And that tells me that uh, you were probably working with certain people. Maybe there was a group or a certain, you know, partnership. Again, you guys had gotten together, made plans, and then it just didn't, it just didn't come together. And that ended up being for your greater benefit. Now, I do see that you are trying to balance, you know, maybe several things all at once. Or you soon will be balancing more than one thing. You're going to be working really hard because the workflow is definitely increasing. As it usually does this time of year, especially when you have your own business or you are just starting in a new job, or you are just starting a brand new project, you know, be prepared to be very, very busy and to be very, very um, in demand, you know, for your services, for your work, for your talents and all that good stuff. Now, the Knight of Wands here in the upright, this tells me too that you could be, you could be experiencing some temporary movement and that could either be in the literal sense or the figurative sense. Like you literally could be moving someplace else, but it's only temporary. Or you could see or feel a sense that things are kind of changing and shifting and being re repositioned around you. You know, energetically, you're going to feel that things are just kind of like, I don't want to say necessarily flowing, but, um, you know, things are happening. It's like, this is going on here, that's going on there. So just be prepared for that because you will feel that. Like I said, if it's not a temporary relocation, you will feel some uh, movement going on around you. And it's actually for the good. Now this seven of wands here, especially when it comes to your money and your finances, you're gonna have to be very careful about how you, how you, uh, position yourself as it relates to your money. You're going to have to be really, really careful. And in some cases, you may have to defend your position as it relates to your money. Now, this could be work or it could be business related. Just be aware that there's going to be people who are going to have an opinion and it may be very, very different from yours. And you are going to have to really, really stand your ground in order to keep yourself on the right track that you know you need to be on. <clears throat> so Gemini, like I said, you're gonna be feeling a lot of things going on around you and it's gonna feel a little chaotic in some, in some ways, but in other ways, it really is for your greater good. So the month of the month of December is going to start off for you very very uh, heavily work focused. I'm feeling like this card wanted to make an appearance. You know, there's going to be a lot of activity. There's going to be a lot of um, there's going to be a lot of things happening for you in that first week of December. All right, what else do we need to know for the sign of Gemini as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2019? 
And I hope this is not cut off. Looks like it is just a tad. Okay. All right, Gemini. Now, Gemini, you're also going to be called upon to... Um, Someone's going to be asking you for a bailout. Roughly in that second to third week of December. Somebody gets caught up in a bind. Somebody gets... Something happens and someone's going to reach out to you to be bailed out, Gemini. So just giving you a heads up on that. We have the High Priestess reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse, Justice, King of Cups reverse, Four of Pentacles upright, Page of Pentacles reverse, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles upright, one of my absolute favorite cards in the deck. But uh, I can tell just by looking at this, there's someone, and you know who this person is, you're not going to be surprised when they hit you up, when they hit you up for, oh, I need a loan, oh, I have an emergency, something. Somebody is going to tap you, Gemini, for a bailout, for a handout. Um, I'm feeling like it could be a family member, however it may not be. You know, it could be uh, a friend or something, but someone is going to be reaching out to you asking for a handout or help or a, an, an emergency something. Uh, we have the High Priestess here in the reverse. This tells me that... Um, you you go against your better judgment when it comes to this situation. Now, it's not that you don't know what you need to do. It's just that sometimes you're put in a position that you got you you, you kind of feel pressured that you have to go against what you know. You know what you know is right for you because you're you're feeling the pressure from all these uh, external things. You know either. Uh, circumstances or people's opinions or judgments and it's just it's like an ongoing thing with you and it's not that because you don't want to help it's just that sometimes people know if they get you in at the right moment or at the right time they can kind of <laughs> weasel their way in so to speak so just be careful with that again this is probably going to happen within that second week of December <laughs> And I'm not, I'm feeling like it's, you're not surprised. It's like you almost expected this to some degree. Now we have this five of pentacles in reverse. Again, this tells me that, you know, somebody is asking for a handout. They don't really need the handout, but they think that you will give it to them. And so just be careful with that because that does go against your better judgment. Now we have the justice card here. Uh, the justice card in the upright position means, you know, decisions are being made in your favor. However, you have to be careful because sometimes, um, you know, things, the decision is being made in your favor, but other people also see that you're, quote, winning, and so they try to latch on. And that's what I'm getting with this King of Cups in the reverse here. Now, this is all good because Justice fell onto this um, Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is the Wish card, the Ultimate Fulfillment card, which is very, very good. However, the King of Cups means emotions kind of out of control. It also means sometimes being overly sensitive, um, overly um, caught up in your emotions to the degree that it makes you unable to think clearly and think um, logically sometimes because you're so heavily um, affected by your emotions. So you're going to have to be careful with that. And I feel like this is all part of that person who is trying to kind of reach out and ask you for some help because of an unexpected emergency. Now I do see the four of pentacles in the upright here. Again, that tells me <laughs> that you're being very guarded as it comes, you know, as it relates to your money, your resources, your time, your wealth, your energy. We also have the page of pentacles. 
Page of Pentacles in reverse means you've got some news and information coming in. And that's why I'm believing someone's going to hit you up for money because this means someone is going to call you. Someone's going to email you. Someone's going to text you and ask you something money related. Now we have this nine of pentacles here. And as this relates to your money, you're still going to be in a very good position. You know, this person hitting you up for money is not going to necessarily bankrupt you, right? It's just going to be a little bit of an inconvenience. So I want you to trust that you're not going to be wiped out by this situation or by this person or by this unforeseen, unexpected emergency. Because no matter what happens, you're still set up for success. You're still in a position to profit from this somehow, some way. Now, the way I'm kind of reading this is that let's say you do help this person out. Well, now, because that person is indebted to you, it puts you in a really good position. Either the way you're perceived or literally because somebody wants to pay you back that it puts you in a position to profit off of this. Like let's say you loan someone $100 and when they pay you back, they give you $200 because they're just so grateful. Okay, so, so it's going to be an inconvenience at first, but then it's actually going to turn around and work out in your favor in a very profitable way. And like I said, this is happening roughly within that second to third week of December. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what else we need to know for the sign of Gemini as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2019. What do we need to know for the sign of Gemini as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? Okay. Okay, Gemini. Now I do see some travel in your future. <laughs> Like literally, you're taking a trip somewhere, somewhere throughout the world. Uh, we've got the world card in the upright position. We also have the six of swords. This is literally the going away, traveling over water. The world card also means travel to me too. Now the world card also could mean the completion of a cycle, right? So once you go through this work, money stuff in the first half of December, um, you finally could be moving on to a new phase as it relates to your money, your abundance, your finances, and your prosperity. Uh, like I said, I do see you taking a trip, and because I got both of the travel cards in this spread, I do see that you will be going somewhere in the month of December, probably that second half, which makes a lot of sense because it is holiday time, so maybe you're going on a vacation, maybe you plan to go see family, but I do see definite travel in your future Gemini for that second half of December. Now I also see the Three of Cups in the reverse. This tells me that someone is not giving you the credit that you deserve. They can clearly see that you're you know, a smart, talented, capable, experienced worker, business owner, person, but someone is just not taking the time to acknowledge that or they're just deliberately not giving you the credit that you deserve. Don't take it personal because it will, I mean, it's going to work out in your favor. We got the judgment card in the upright position. Judgment upright, again, means that you're going through a rebirth. Um, it's almost like you're going through a fresh start on some level, you know, so it doesn't matter if there's people who don't see what you are, you know, bringing to the table, so to speak, it's going to work out for you because the right people do take notice and the right people do acknowledge that. And it does really create new opportunities for you to really shine and to really grow and to really increase because that's definitely on the way. Now, things are going to be happening quick 
uh, as we move through December for you, Gemini, we have the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is a quick movement card, but it's also the card of truth and truth seeking. So if you are, um, you know, looking to um, build something, connect with someone, start something new, This card tells me that it's going to happen and it's going to happen quickly. And it also is a card of relentless pursuit, right? Um, really being determined and really being focused and not giving up and really doing what's necessary and just not stopping until you get the results you want. Now we have the four pentacles again. We saw him here earlier in the month. Here he is showing up again. This time you actually say no. I have a feeling that that person who tries to hit you up for money, um, they're probably going to make another reappearance because I see this five of wands here. Um, they're probably going to ask, <laughs> ask you for more money, more help, more of whatever. And you actually say no. It could cause them to feel a little some kind of a way. However, you stand your ground. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear, and you're just not going to allow yourself to be manipulated. Bottom line. All right, what else do we need to know for the sign of Gemini? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of December 2019. What do we need to know for the sign of Gemini? What do we need to know for the sign of Gemini? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of December 2019. I think I want just one more card. There we go. All right, Gemini. So as we move towards the end of December, you're going to get some. It's like your eyes are going to be opened in a different way. There's something that you did not know that is going to be revealed at the end of the at the end of the month of December something that was hidden from you i want to say something that was deliberately kept from you as it relates to work your money finances uh however that's going to change that's going to change at the end of the month so get ready uh some new information a new opportunity some new something that you did not know is going to become very clear to you as december closes out so get ready for that uh it is something related to money and it is something related to uh working with a group of people because it's right next to this ten of pentacles remember we saw the ten of pentacles earlier in the month in the reverse position the ten of pentacles means collaborations uh working with the group, working with people, um, being surrounded by um, people who are also focused on the same thing as you and also people who want to collaborate, who want to build, who want to grow. All right. So whatever that is, uh, this new information is definitely going to uh, assist you as you work with a certain group of people. Now we have the eight of swords here. The eight of swords Sometimes this is self-imposed restrictions or feeling like you are limited in some way. Now, when I see this card and when I look at the rest of your reading, Gemini, I'm feeling like this is more of a self. It's like a limiting belief. Because it's not that you are being held back by someone or something but you are seeing that you're being held back by someone or something. And it's all a matter of perception, but that may not necessarily be the case. So really examine your actions, examine the details of what's going on around you, and then focus inward and see how you're thinking. Are you allowing your own limiting beliefs to dictate what your reality is? 
okay? I'm feeling this very powerfully for you, Gemini, as we close out the month of December and move into a brand new year. We also have the Hermit card and the Star card, both of them in the reverse position. Now the Hermit card, this could be Virgo energy, or it could also mean literally that you are not in hermit mode anymore. You are putting yourself out there. You are forcing yourself to be involved, to be seen, to be social, to connect with others. And that's probably going to be something really good for you at the end of the month because it's right next to the star card. Now remember, the end of December moves into a brand new year and a brand new decade. I do see you being recognized on some level, Gemini, for your contributions that you made throughout the year. The star card is always a positive card. It doesn't matter if she's upright or reverse. This is a, a card of shining bright, of, you know, uh, fame and being seen and literally being a star. Now, this because it is in the reverse position, it could be to a lesser degree, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. It doesn't mean that it's you're not showing, <laughs> you know, you're not showing up and showing out. And people do see that. So as we move into the new year, really put yourself out there, Gemini, because it's going to pay off. And it's going to pay off in a good way. So... December is going to be interesting <laughs> for you, Gemini. Uh, like I said, as we move into December, you are focused on work and money, which is totally, um, I mean, yeah, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> Especially as we close out this year. And then, you know, someone does uh, kind of hit you up for some money, but you handle that very, very well. And then you have some travel coming uh, throughout the month, maybe a vacation, maybe visiting family. And then as we move into uh, the end of December, into the new year, you definitely start shining bright. And you do some inner work here that allows you to really take yourself to that next level of success. So December is going to be a very good month for you, Gemini. I hope you are excited. I'm excited for you. And... It just looks like things uh, start paying off, you know, in in ways that in ways that you just didn't expect or, you know, things that kind of knocked you down in the past actually turn out really uh, to work well in your favor now later on. Oh, so let's go ahead and close out your reading with a crystal oracle card. Oh, very nice. This is Awakening Crystal, Emotional Healing. Huh, very interesting. Also a Master Teacher card. Okay. So, Gemini, I think this kind of reiterates what we were talking about as some of the things that we see for you towards the end of the month. Emotional Healing. That's really big, and that's going to be huge for you throughout the month of December. Because it's not only healing your emotions for yourself, but it's also healing your emotions in the ways that you kind of interact with other people. And how you see yourself, and how you perceive your world, how you, um, how you really feel on an emotional level about certain things, certain people, uh, situations about yourself. So just know that December is going to be an emotional healing month for you, Gemini. Oh, okay, Gemini. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I want to thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me and allowing me to do this reading for you, Gemini. This is the last reading I'll be doing for you for the year of 2019. As we move into 2020, get ready for some exciting things that I'm going to be sharing with you. Uh, if you are interested in a private reading, those are available and the link with all the information is down in the description. All right. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.